Hello Sagittarius, how are you doing? Welcome into your Ancestor Love Reading. We're going to be checking what the person you're thinking about is feeling for you right now. We're also going to see what they're thinking and actually see what is going on in their world, in their energy. This is an Ancestor Tarot Reading, so I do work with Ancestor Energy, which is somebody that may have been uh, somebody you knew that passed on it can also be somebody that's a bit further down your family tree I've had them come sometimes from so way back I mean it's the time before cars guys you know what I mean so it's pretty amazing to pick up on their energy this ancestor is feeling like a parent to you so they want to help you guide you and they resonate with you there's an understanding in them or a wisdom in them wow that's them that they um they know they can give you advice. So we're going to see who they are. Fox Spirit, you're going to be fine. I'm stopping right there. The Fox Spirit is trust your talents in changing times. So this tells me, Saji, especially even with you guys' readings from last year, I remember major changes coming in for you. And I do feel like a lot of you have gone through some major shifts in 2021 where your life really did do like almost like a 360 degree turn of how things were to how things have been it's almost like 2020 but in your life you know what i mean and you still emerging i feel into this new life that you have built for yourself for some of you guys you may have had breakups major breakups for others of you there's just been really big changes um so i feel you're gonna be fine i keep putting it back there you're gonna handle Whatever comes your way in 2022, you wiser and you more streetwise almost like than you think. So don't feel like you're not good enough or feel like you can't handle things or feel like um, nobody will love me. No, actually, no, that's not true. That's not true. Um, you really got this. You really got this. There's also parts of yourself I just got to go because his ancestors really speaking it is a man's energy he always he just said I always landed on my feet so this could be father grandfather I, I feel like it could be somebody that you know which is actually very nice very very strong clever person okay what I do understand is is that he's saying no matter what difficulties I face it's not like you're not going to face it but you're always going to come out on top you're always going to be okay and you're literally going to see in 2022 i know this is a love reading but i gotta say what they're saying you're gonna see parts of yourself that you didn't know existed in 2022 get emotional getting emotional saggy <laughs> yeah you're gonna see stuff in 2022 about who you are that you didn't even know you were okay so let's look at this person who is this person who are you thinking about it's an ex-person five of pentacles and they are feeling alone this is what i felt i felt like there was some kind of breakup or something that happened i feel like it's not recent though i kind of feel like it's a bit of a way back it's it's a bit down the line maybe a couple of months ago and um they really really regret i'm gonna put this one out there again i really think they wish they could undo some of the things that they did so they could still be in this house with you or with you it's like they're standing there you see there's a house there they wish they could get back in there into that home into that where you were all to you and um there's a lot of regret coming from this person they're feeling it they're really feeling aloneness they really, they don't know how they don't know how to fix it they don't know if they ever can fix it and literally as i'm shuffling i just saw the tower card just saw the tower card flipping i heard it go click and as i looked it was a tower card and i do feel like they it's an ending it's an ending that has taken place here it's something that is over and they at the time may have been very confident when this ending was happening but then later on they realized i really blew this if you can actually look there's somebody like literally falling there like just didn't expect this kind of vibe so let's see what else is in their energy lots of regret here lots of regret um i don't know how you're feeling about this if i i, I just i'm not sure there's a whole different vibe I mean, yes an ending without a doubt i kind of feel look and this is their energy they regret this so much they regret that two five of materials really regret it 
it's like they just blew this and they don't know what to do to fix it. They're feeling, how, I'm going to put this like despondent. Um, you might even be doing better than them. You know, after this ending, you might have been maybe down for some time. And then when you were down, they were all confident and they were showing like this big show like I'm you I'm good I'm so happy this is over whatever and then slowly but surely you kind of got your spark back here and you sort of started adjusted to this change and you start to see the light and you start to feel better and now all of a sudden they hitting like this rock bottom place literally there's rocks there you know and they're standing on a rock as well so I feel like you kind of being okay you just maybe curious about what is going on in their energy i don't even feel to be 100 percent honest i don't i feel like you're not even going i really really want them back you're just kind of like okay all right then I, there's a lot of stuff that happened that i i feel like it's too much that happened it's too much stuff that was said too much things that were done and you're just kind of looking at this person in a very analytical logical way and going wow okay wow thought i knew you you know what I mean? There's a lot of energy coming through from here. This is interesting. Lover's card, this is what they think about you. They do feel like you were the one for them. You were the love of their life. Gemini's energy coming in here. I do kind of feel regret, I will tell you. I feel regret again with the lover's card. They feel like they will never love anyone else again after this. And they do regret. They cannot have the lover's card. When they think about you, they think about you and them being as a couple together, um, they regret that, that you're no longer together. Feeling alone, five of materials, sour card. An ending reading like I've never seen. Ooh, okay, two cards, I've kind of got my, ooh, three cards, okay. Let's see what this is about. They are giving up. They're giving up on this. It's not what they want, but they are giving up on it. They are letting it go because I saw it in the reverse position. It's two of materials. They letting go. They giving up hope on this love. But I feel like you will remain in their energy forever. It's like they will be. This is the one love that they have that they will regret losing forever. Honestly. Let's see what else comes through. The queen of emotions. You may not have emotions or feelings for them anymore queen of emotions your emotions are no longer there the queen of emotions or queen of cups was in the reverse position so that energy of you having that big heart for them being so open for them allowing them to come in and do whatever they want and the problem is when you did that they came in and really did whatever they want with you they broke you they hurt you they did whatever they want and they know that has changed your emotion for them it's like eventually you just had enough let's see four materials and they know you're not open to them they feel that you are not open to them you're very very close to them wow they can see it they can feel it they know it that's why i feel like they're just giving up it's because you're closed you don't show a sign of letting this person back into your world and you remember something um there's the hermit that just flipped over <laughs> the hermit energy how they feel about you how they're their feelings towards you isolated cut off from you before i forget let me go back you remember the spirit fox the fox is a very um how can i put this a very clever animal and uh it can avoid uh being caught it can literally go around and rummage in people's farmyards and do funny things there and they can hardly ever get caught they're so sly you know and i feel you yourself honestly um you caught this person unawares it's almost like they didn't think you would get the better of them in their kind of way it's almost like they lost you um they couldn't get to like manipulate you they couldn't get to um continue what they were doing with you you caught them unexpectedly with the actions and things that happened here they didn't think it would go that way so it was like a surprise energy like whoa with this it's hermit which is virgo as well um that's that's the alone energy how they feel about you is like they really are missing you they are feeling alone and the funny thing is i don't feel okay gotta stop there because your ancestor came in again and he's very practical and he's very straightforward pretty much like me kind of like his vibe um he's saying that they feel alone 
and they're in this hermit energy and that's their feelings towards you but it's more about them their feelings associated towards you is more about how they are feeling they feeling alone they feeling left out they feeling isolated they feeling um unattached to anyone and the reason why they feeling like this is because you're not in their world but what are their feelings towards you we're not picking up on that this person's very self-centered on their own energy how i feel what is happening to me how this affects me so this could have been why you guys ended up in this problem in the first place because they're not really selfish selfish they're not really looking at how do i make my sagittarius feel if i do this what will will sagittarius be happy or not um any, you know they were only worried about their own feelings very selfish energy what are their real feelings because i'm not picking up on like real feelings their energy is very self-centered on themselves so somebody who's got an extremely self-centered energy uses other people to make themselves feel good but hurts other people because they don't have feelings for others i've got to tell you i've just got to say um let's see truth hang muse they they're still holding on to you this person's still holding on to you and they do still hope and wish with the ace of emotions they do have feelings for you but a lot of their energy is self-centered remember and they have more feelings for their own energy and how you make them feel than actually how they're making you feel that's where the problems came from and with this coming through they got an ace of cups here so they do still realize that they made a big mistake and they actually do have love for you but they are holding back they're holding back here they're holding back with the hangman being there let's see what we don't see coming queen of inspiration that is you hello male or female energy there you are this is what we don't see coming this is what the spirit fox and your ancestor was telling you you don't see this either this is you having a glow up moment like you've never seen before this is you changing yourself in some kind of way this is you shining this is you changing and growing into a better version of yourself or maybe into who you've always been this is you being so confident in 2022 this is you shining your light this is you just being confident glowing strong stable you're still going to see this unfolding there's something really big for you in 2022 hierophant energy coming through again that's what we don't see coming this i'm sorry but this is again your energy i'm, I'm going to pick up on i think on what maybe actions from them or something unusual and i'll be able to tell you but again this is you We've got taurus coming through here with a hierophant um the wisdom that you've gained it is this energy of the spirit fox the wisdom that you've gained and I feel like it's you because I still feel like you're a little bit closed off to to them. I feel like you're a little bit closed off to them. You look into the future and this lady's literally got a like a cloth on her head like that, like some kind of like scarf, you know. And she's like covering herself from the past because this would be my past energy on the table. She's like looking towards the future and hiding her face. It's almost like I don't want to see this person. I don't want to see them let's have a look and see ten of inspiration it will this is coming to an end guys yeah you are temperance very strong you're not going to repeat this with this person i feel like honestly i'm going to tell you the truth i feel like this person i feel like you you washed your hands of this situation you're releasing it you're letting it go this time and i felt it already from here like you you go there was a time you got very sad about it but now you're coming out of it and i feel like you're releasing the situation behind you you're letting it all go like again in the past energy and she's also wearing something over her head pretty much the same it's almost like you're shielding yourself from the past and you're letting it go you're moving to the future and you're moving into your power this is a beautiful reading Sagittarius as usual you're moving into your power you're literally blooming look at that 
Is that the white lotus literally blooming cycle to cycle with the moons? You're literally going to be coming out glowing, totally new. Sun is shining on you right now. And in 22, 2022, I feel like the sun is shining. Oh, the sun is shining there as well. I only just noticed. Whoa. The sun is shining down upon you in 2022. Wow. Sagittarius. And um, I do feel like you keep on moving forward. This person is, you're not repeating past mistakes. You're extremely cautious with your own energy, with temperance coming in there. You know, you guys, Sagittarius, um, you're very impulsive sometimes. Fire sign and one of the most impulsive zodiac signs. Like you can be like, boom, let's go right now. You can make a decision about doing something and you can be like, wake up this morning and you're all good. And by one o'clock in the afternoon, you decide to and completely redecorate your entire house and you move all the furniture around and do crazy things paint the walls in a few moments you know and you're like i'm going to buy paint and you that's an excellent energy that's great to have it's so nice to have that impulsive energy but with regards to negative cycles with regards to pain with regards to heartbreak you're not doing that anymore oh no you're being very very careful when it comes to that because you've been through it and you're not going to go through it again so let's have a look and see advice coming through what did i tell you i told you yes my darlings 2022 is the year where you shine it is the year of the sun for you i told you i felt the tear there's the sun there there's the sun shining and final word from your beautiful ancestor this person is so amazing to come and take the cards out like this for you 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 guys are, i'm going to make a note and say please watch to the end please 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 enjoy success and happiness and this is success in all levels of your life this is success with money. The gold always indicates the flow of money and power and success and achievements. Um, the happiness is you. It is how you feel every single day. It is how you experience your life every single day. It is the, the people that are around you that are making you happy. And it's also the incoming energy of any romantic relationship. If it's not going to be happy for you. You're not going to let it in. But there's going to be a lot of things that take place this year that are going to leave you in a very happy, strong place. You're going to unfold, my darling Sagittarius, like this lotus in 2022. Because this is the year of the sun for you. Sagittarius, I don't know what to say. Thank you so much for watching this reading. The goosebumps that I'm feeling from this reading, it's just like, I don't know what to say. The way the cards came out here... It's an unbelievable blessing for you to have stayed and watched to the end so that you can feel this energy now in the beginning of 2022 and it sets the theme for the rest of the year. This is this year for you, Sagittarius. 2022 is the year of the sun for you. Sending my love. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.